so everyone the last time i spoke about browsers and right now we are going to dive into installation of the ycas software and the wag ssc offline system so uh, From this my screen, you realize that I have uh, I'll just install this. Okay, I have this browser open. Some of you might prefer using Chrome, so if you need Chrome, you can just go ahead and download Chrome and install it on your system. But for me, I don't have any issue running any of these browsers so i just keep it to i'll, I'll just use what i have which is the internet explorer as you can see so for downloading the yk software you need to head over to yk international yk international slash car slash download so if you put yk international slash cars it will take you to the main page let's remove the download make sure the slash cars is there it will take you to this page where you have the login and other things so you head down to visit download center that is where you find the downloads now if you want to run this software don't download this directly because if you run this you're going to have this error so you need to first install the crystal runtime without this you won't be able to install the cast software so if you install the crystal runtime then the remaining process becomes easy So if your network is strong, this software should be able to install within a few minutes, if not seconds, depending on your network speed. So for the offline registration, you need to head over to yikinternational.org. Remember the old website was offline.yikonline.org.ng. So i think they updated the site and then you can get it from this school offline installation site so if you launch this some of the prerequisites here includes this biometric capture which enables fingerprints uh, for digital personnel and maybe some Xenon device then these ones might come pre-installed on your windows 8 windows 8.1 or windows 10 system except the visual and the uh, power pack so if you have this already installed you need to click launch but if you don't have them click install and if you click install you have the same screen i have So, <laughs> so as you can see, like I said, without the crystal runtime, you can't install this. So we can try installing the crystal runtime i have the file already downloaded so i'll just connect my flash and show you what i mean Mm -hmm. 
So, so this is my crystal runtime. I'll just launch this. So if you check my previous video, my PC speed might be higher than yours. Uh, I'm actually running on a 32 gig RAM PC, which uh, have this Windows installed on a virtual machine. So uh, even though I'm on a virtual machine, my speed is uh, amazing i'll just wait for this to finish installing then i'll head over back here So I think the installation is going well but a bit slow. So if you just finish your installation for the 2024 model, the first thing you install to create your account is to enter principal and then you enter school after entering these two credentials you see that this window pops up for you to create uh, your username password So this is our website, we go to GSM. So your password should be secret. So with this you are good to go.
goods account created then so you have this window open let's head back to what i was saying here after you have installed crystal report you can just download and install this so you would notice that that arrow has disappeared and now you're free to install this software anyhow you want it so that's it for yks after the installation all you need to do is to create account just like the yx software so if you are good with database i would suggest you install one more software and it's called db browser db browser so if you click on this software go to the download so you can download any of this 32 bit windows 64 bit windows you can download any of it and um, if you have it on your system you will be using this software a lot from for most of our tutorials that will involve uh, bypassing of legacy activities so my case is installed and i guess we will still have the same problem we had So let's just create another account. created a new user so the problem I was talking about was uh, about this session academy session 2019 so that's a big problem because we're actually working on 2021 20, 22, 2023 so if you don't have that let's try to run the center update and see so this is it if we go back to admin academy session okay so the new update online has fixed that very problem with the 2019 2021 2022 so this is for the current ss3 and this is for the current ss2 so the previous uh, online version had an error and i think it was fixed so this is what i'm talking about
so if you have the same issue please go ahead run an update center update so you would have this issue solved so uh if you installed the software i'm talking about just in case you installed it for SQL rights so if you download that software So, DB browser for SQLite, if you downloaded this software, just launch it, install it. Because we will be doing a lot of deep things concerning the work. Make one even other database softwares. I will just show you how to read your database. good so that's it for installation if you have any error please go ahead drop a comment i'll get back to you you can see all our softwares are working correctly so We'll be looking at the next episode where we will talk about licensing and other issues.